Everybody has a philosophy. Something they believe in, something they live and die by. I believe that God created life to be a prison and all men its prisoners. Some in cells with windows, some without. I am a kind of a loner, no family, no friends, no attachments. I have lived in this apartment for four years now. I still don't know the people next door. Mind you, I don't want to present a sorry picture of mine. I was very happy with the way things were. I had a lot to do. Reading, sketching, cooking, walking. Boredom was never an option. Somewhere around six months back, things took a different turn. The events that followed was to change me in ways unimaginable. I met him on one of my morning walks. His carefree looks, the silly conversations with the owner of the chai shop had a charm in it. Initially we talked for a minute or two, then hours in the days that followed. His casual stance, habit of finding humor in mundane situations, silly jokes over a cup of tea attracted me towards him. We walked for hours every morning. Time ceased to exist for us. For the first time I found myself waiting for something. I had found a brother who never was. I had found a friend. My friend hadn't come for two months and I was feeling miserable. The loneliness which had been my faithful companion all my life bothered me now. It was then that I realized the extent to which he had affected me. The road seemed particularly empty in the morning. I found myself avoiding the places we used to visit together. Thousand miles we must have walked together. This could not go on any longer. On one of those days, I saw an advertisement in the papers that triggered a wild idea in my head. The advertisement was of La Urzas, a company that made human beings. That evening, I found myself calling up their office. The very next day, one of their agents came to discuss the deal. He made sketches of my friend, took details about his structure, habits, mannerism. We had long conversations regarding the times I had spent with my friend, about the images that had stayed with me. He said it was something to do with the memories. After a few days, I received a parcel. It contained my friend's head. The company had asked me to ok the head so that they could go over to the body. It was perfect. It was just the way I remembered my friend to be. I took the head out for a walk. I wanted to show him the town. Soon my friend was delivered at my place. For a moment he actually seemed natural. Anyways, the days that followed were one of the best times I've had in my whole life. He stayed with me. What previously used to be a matter of an hour or two became the whole day. The same places, the same images, the same walks. It was beautiful. I talked a lot. I told him about my childhood, my family, the people I had known. It was as if I was making up for the lost time. All men are prisoners, some in cells with windows, some without. It had been a month since he arrived. Something had changed. His casual stance bothered me. The silly conversations with the chaiwala seemed irritating. There is so much humor a man can put up with. Those days I found myself avoiding him. But since we lived together, it wasn't the easiest thing to do. An idea had taken shape in my head. I called up La Urza's office and informed them about the situation. They told me that this was a common phenomenon and could be dealt with a simple servicing. That evening, the agent came and took him away. 
The servicing took a week's time, but at least I had myself a company. He returned the next week. He had changed a lot. They had been hard on him. He seemed to have aged by 20 years in those 7 days. But who was I to complain? He was perfect, just the way I wanted him to be. For once I could have serious conversations with him. Even his sense of humor seemed to have improved many folds. I was looking forward to a happy future, but guess I was hasty. I had ignored an important aspect of the whole thing. My friend was a human too, maybe not a natural one, but human nonetheless. Even he had certain feelings, likings, expectations. He didn't seem to enjoy my company anymore. Most of the times I found him avoiding my company. At times I found him staring at me as if some idea was taking shape in his head. On one of those days, he placed a call to Lao Urza's office to tell them about the situation. He asked them if they had some program for natural humans. That evening, the agent turned up at my place. I was taken to get certain changes made in my cell. My story ended that day. What followed involved a completely different individual. Gibran had once said, All men are prisoners, some in cells with windows, some without.